Can you introduce yourself and uh, tell me what you do? Uh, my name is Chad Hopper and I recycle trash and stuff I find on the cheap into products. Uh, I run an art collective and there's about four of us that combine forces to make cheap art for the public. And Spider House has led us do this for about a year and a half now. It's just a nice, uh, a nice environment uh, to meet people. I just met you, so it's proof is in the pudding, right? How long have you been doing this type of artwork? Uh, this oh, about seven years. What uh, inspired the name Pal Float? Uh, it's a synonym I made up for the word friendship. It's just like a play on that word, and it also contains the word Alf, which is one of my favorite TV shows. <clears throat> What kind of music do you listen to? Ooh, I like, uh, I listen to a lot of pavement. I listen to a lot of Talking Heads and uh, Velvet Underground. What influences your artwork? Mm. Uh, current events. <laughs> uh, the 80s, obviously. Um, pop culture is a big part of what I do. How would you describe your work to someone who's never seen it? Oh God! Um, a lot of it looks like it's done by children. I borrow a lot from the mind of like a five-year-old, <laughs> uh, and I think a lot of the stuff that I sell is uh, you're buying a joke, like this random crap. And this is really just you know a, a gag. I don't think anyone that bought this would really open it and use any of it. I don't know. Maybe they would. And then I do comics, of course. Where do you see your art in about five years? Five years, gosh. I'd like to have my own building by then because I'm sick of battling uh, the weather for these outside venues. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking to get shows out of, out of state uh, this next year, probably. Uh, going to California and New York and kind of touring with this sort of thing. A lot of the galleries don't like me because I charge such low prices and they don't make any money, so I turn to opening my own uh, sort of galleries like this. Where you well, can just walk by and come up and, and, and touch it, and no one tells you to stand back or don't touch that. I don't know. It's, it's dumb shit, man. <laughs> well, I wish you the best in all your oh, endeavors. You, you oh, do an outstanding job. Thank you very much. Thank you for the interview. I yeah, sincerely appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.